So we are here with Indie Attack. Once again, we have not done this for a very long time, but schedule happenstance has made it happen once more. The and attack we're is able back. to do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it again now. Do it uh, again, so brother. we got some mini games and we're gonna open it up doing Titan Souls. It's a pretty good introductory game for this, I think. Absolutely. Uh, a very interesting game that ha is now being origins in a game jam that is now uh, uh, E3 fair turning into yeah. a, a, a release. This started out as a game made in two days for a game jam. Yes. And now it's kind of becoming a major release. It got a really lot of positive buzz coming out of the game yes. jam. Originally described as... Dark Souls meets Shadow of the Colossus, which Absolutely. I would debate a little bit. Meets Zelda, really. Yeah. Not really a lot of Dark Souls in this Not other really. than the instant death. Yeah, it's brutal, it's hard. But anyway, so the setup for this game is that you are this dude with an arrow, yes. and you have to go kill some bosses. Right. You die in one hit, but each of the bosses pretty much dies in one hit too when you hit their appropriate weak points. Right. You can, basically, the, you have a a bow that you shoot, and you can use a sort of retractable power that will pull it back to you if you want, it, but you'll have to retrieve your arrow by either walking over it or pulling it to you. So that's kind of the, the trick, is you have one shot, and it's like you have to time things very precisely on the four bosses that you encounter in the game, or three bosses that you encounter. And this is definitely a formula that works well for a smaller indie title. Yes. Because... Since it's boss fights, uh, as long as the boss fights are fun, the game is fun. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and the boss fights are pretty good. It's your standard video gamey boss fight stuff. You right. know, hit glowing weak points for right. damage and everything. A giant brain. But they're they're well made. I yeah, think. absolutely. I mean, you know, the scale is there. You yeah, know, they're they're you know suitably in, epic. They're much Spec faster than you. They yeah. you will die many many times <laughs> as you learn the timing, and it's about timing rhythm. You have a, a a dodge, but everything is pretty limited. Like you really have to learn the limitations of your movement and able to yeah. time things properly with these by getting your one shot off with your bow and then retrieving it probably a, a dozen times. And. One of the bosses in particular, the brain, which we played this in the same room together, yes. and uh, the brain gave us a lot of trouble to the point yes. where it's a little finicky. I mean, for two days, you're going to expect some stuff, right? but it was a slight bit annoying. It was. No, it was challenging. I mean, uh, uh, it, you know, with all games, the issue is that when you run into mechanical issues such as hitboxes not, you know, uh, registering, things like that. And, and that's the, the sort of game, you know, it, it, the, 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 the story on this is that it's shockingly polished and well done yeah. for a game jam game, but it is not without its technical difficulties. Yeah, it is still a game jam game. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's, and I think people need to sort of, you know, and, and we have obviously tempered our expectations, you know, it's a game with buzz and it obviously if you look up the trailer for the you know for the what's going to be released on the ps4 is downloadable on steam and etc it's a lot more sophisticated yeah and i definitely think um it's looking better as like a full title and this is definitely the kind of game that could be a full title too there's a lot of indie yes. stuff that we have played and are going to play that is fun for 15 minutes as a small gimmick but right. i would never really play as a longer yes. involved title this is a game you know, yeah. like you have a, a, a set of goals, which is to kill the Colossi, essentially. You know, the, this, the game's version of the Colossuses. And, uh, you know, it's lin it's linear in that way, and but it's also compelling because, you know, uh, uh, they look cool. You know, yeah. it's like you want to beat them and see where you go next. Uh, and then we get to the ending, which is, you know, after the three bosses. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's one of those sort of indie game, you know... Um, Trying plot twist. Yeah, plot twist where essentially you, you shoot an arrow into a sort of infinitely multiple, like a, 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 a between two pillars avoid. where you can avoid and you you die, you kill yourself. That's the end of, the, of, of at least this version, the game jam version of yeah. the game. So hopefully there's like a real final boss eventually. Yeah. I do want that. You were disappointed. The other thing I would want to see, and this could just be because we played this game on... Uh, PC with PC controls. We right. didn't bother to hook up a controller. Is that uh, I really want dual stick controls mm -hmm. yeah. for uh, aiming the arrow and moving around. Absolutely. Because we, you run into some problems with uh, this 
your cardinal directions being sort of a little limited when you dodge and move and stuff like that, and especially when you aim. Yeah, and uh, from the trailers, yeah, the delay on the bow, like there there was a little too much delay in the action. You know, that's the thing, and it made it extremely difficult at times. Um, But and but this is one of those things where the only real reason we can be critical on this is because there's actually enough here to criticize. Absolutely, it's a real. This is uh, I mean. Ratings? (laughs) Ratings? <laughs> rating time? <laughs> yeah, rating time. So yeah, this is, we're gonna rate these, it's always gonna be out of five, and out it's five. basically just a recommendation. A five is, go play it right now, yeah. one is, never think about touching it ever. Right. Uh, and, uh, I'd do a four on this. Yeah, I would Maybe. say, four or five, I mean, you know, it dep- you know straddling for, between a four yeah. and a five. For a two-day game, it's for a five. For a two-day game, it's, it's a five. five. You know what Overall, I mean? Overall, it's But a if four. we're on the scale of just all gaming, <laughs> in, of all <laughs> possible games, yeah, I would give it a four, you know, and and I'm, I'm really excited for the... Yeah, for this definitely. Game. I definitely want to see what this, uh, yeah. the creator of this can do, because Absolutely. it's looking to be a pretty cool game. Definitely. 